Hi everyone, I'm Slavek and I'm Neutron PTL since a uh, few cycles. I started serving as PTL uh, for Neutron in Uzuri and I continue that through Victoria and now in Wallaby. I work for Red Hat and uh, you can catch me on IRC, mostly on OpenStack Neutron channel uh, at Freenode, if you need anything related to Neutron. Uh, today I wanted to, to, to show you um, some updates about what Neutron team achieved in the Victoria cycle. So let's start with uh, some general statistics uh, based on Stackalytics first. So Neutron uh, team matched almost 600 patches to the Neutron and Neutron Stadium project during Victoria cycle. We completed five blueprints, um, closed, we closed all, almost 170 bugs, and there was more than 100 individual contributors who sent at least one patch to the Neutron uh, project in this last cycle. So as you can see, the project seems to be pretty healthy and stable. We have a bunch of contributors. We are doing a lot of work every, every, uh, every release. And now let's talk a bit about new features which we introduced in Victoria. Uh, so first of all, we added support for metadata over IPv6. Neutron is first project, as far as I, I know, which provides metadata service over IPv6 address. We are using a link local IPv6 address for that. It is equivalent of the uh, IPv4 uh, address, which every one of you probably knows, 169.254.169.254. Uh, now you can, uh, uh, you can get metadata from metadata service in the IPv6 only networks uh, using this new link local IP address. As it is link local IP address, you have to specify, uh, give a interface name in the URL uh, when doing uh, requests. But other than that, everything else should work in exactly the same way like in IPv4 world. And you, could, you should be able to get metadata um, from metadata service. Uh, one thing which you should be aware of is that uh, Cloudinit, for example, as far as I know, don't support uh, metadata over IPv6 yet. So Cloudinit will not work with IPv6 only networks uh, for now, but if you have some own scripts or if you want to add uh, some your own uh, I think it's called data provider in, IP, in cloud in it. You can do that and you can use IPv6 um, to get metadata. Uh, next thing which we introduced in this release is support for flat networks in the DVR distributed uh, routers. Uh, previously, you could only attach to the DVR routers uh, VLAN or tunnel-based networks like VXLAN or GRE networks. Uh, if you attached flat network to the DVR router, uh, different strange things could happen like, for example, duplicate packets sent through the uh, interfaces on this network and things like that. Uh, some more info about that is uh, in the, uh, is uh, available in the related bug report, which is uh, linked on this slide. Uh, another features which I want to highlight here is uh, are some OVN related uh, things. Basically, in Uzu Recycle, we merged OVN backend and OVN driver from uh, to the Neutron core repository. So, OVN became uh, one of the entry driver, neutron drivers, instead of being a separate stadium project. But we know that OVN has got some 
parity gaps, feature parity gaps between uh, comparing to ML2 OVS, and we wanted to, uh, we are working hard to close those gaps every cycle. And in, in Victoria, we uh, we added support for floating IP port forwarding and for router availability zones in the OVN driver. So basically you can use port forwarding with OVN backend now. And you can, and OVN driver will also uh, now read availability zone hints from your router and will schedule router ports accordingly to the given uh, availability zones. We also added couple of new config options, which may be um, pretty important to know from operator's point of view. First of such options is keep alive the use no contract. This one is important if uh, you are using keep alive the older than 2.0, because in such version, keep alive the don't know about no, con no track option uh, in config file and will complain if Neutron will add such option to, to the keep alive the config file. Uh, default value of this option is true because in the newest uh, distribution, distributions like Ubuntu uh, 20.04 or CentOS 8, uh, there is already keep alive the 2.0 and uh, that should work fine. But if you are using some older distro or uh, you have your own older Kipal ID, then it uh, may be worth to, uh, it may be required to, to change this value to false. Another new config option is HTTP retries, which is a neutral server uh, config option. And it basically says that how many times Neutron uh, Nova or ironic client used by Neutron, um, how many times it should uh, retry re API requests which are sent from Neutron to Nova, for example, with uh, notification that port is provisioned or things like that. By default, we are, uh, we are retrying three times in case of some network outage of, or some something some some other issue networking issue during the first uh, request uh, sent to Nova, but you can of course change this uh, to some other value. Other smaller improvements uh, which we which we added in in the Victoria cycle are, for example, uh, that all neutron agent processes now uh, has got the same format of the process name like Neutron Server Workers. So it will be visible as Neutron Agent name like Neutron DHCP Agent or Neutron L3 Agent. And then in parentheses, there will be full original process name including interpreter like user bin Python. And uh, the, the rest of the process name which you already know. This usually is not really very important for, for users, but if you have any custom scripts or tools, which, uh, which for example, rely on output from PS uh, command, then you may need to update your tools accordingly to, to this change. Other th uh, from other things, I can also mention that port DNS assignment now reflects uh, DNS domain defined in the network or sent by user in the API, uh, through the API. Uh, previously, it was always only based on the DNS domain value specified in the Neutron config file. Now it can be specified by API. And last but not least, uh, we also changed uh, terminology used uh, in our code base. Uh, for example, we changed words like master, slave to primary and backup. This is mostly internal change in Neutron code, not really very visible for, for users, but still I think it's important to, to mention that we did uh, change like that in last cycle. And that's 
all updates about Neutron project uh, in the Victoria cycle. Thank you and goodbye.